Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Apple Reminders app. Apple has been implementing substantial enhancements to its Reminders application, positioning it as a very powerful to-do list app. So stick around to learn some of its best features and see if the Reminders app can replace your current third-party to-do list application and become your new favorite way to keep track of your tasks. When it comes to to-do lists, it is important to have some type of hierarchy or structure to organize your tasks. The Apple Reminders application provides various ways to keep your tasks and to-dos organized. Let's take a look at each of these functions, starting with lists. The lists feature allows you to categorize your reminders into different groups. This can be especially handy if you have different areas of your life that require separate attention, such as work, personal life, or specific projects. To create a new list, simply tap on the Add List button here at the bottom. Give your list a name. And what I think is really cool is that you can not only customize the color of the icon for your new list, but you can also change what icon you see to make it a lot faster or quicker to recognize your list. Not only do you have access to these default icons available, but you can also use emojis if you prefer, as you see here. Once you're ready and done with your customizing your list, just click done and you would have created a new list. Another very useful feature that is available or related to lists is the ability to pin them. So let's say I start adding multiple lists and my list part on the, redund the redundancy keeps growing. So let's say now I have a couple of lists but I want to keep track of a specific list here in the top section. What I can do is I can press and hold and I'll get the options uh, for this particular list. I can click or select on pin and this would move the list to the top, making it available um, quickly for me to add reminders to it. You can also always swipe right. You can see here and I get the pin option to pin the list if I wish. To unpin a list, simply press and hold and click unpin to move it back to your general list. Next, let's talk about tags. Tags are another versatile feature of the Apple Reminders app that lets you organize your reminders even further. If I go here into a list where I have added already a particular task, I select the task, I see here that I get this little hashtag or tag button right in the middle. By using this button, you can assign specific keywords to your reminders, making them easier to categorize and search for. So for example, I'm gonna add the work tag here. I'm gonna click done. And I see now that this particular task has a hashtag work added to it. If I go back to, let's go to my inbox list and let's do the same for this one. Click done. And now I have two tasks in separate lists, both tagged with the hashtag work tag. If I go back to my home screen, I see here that I have this new section at the bottom called tags. I can expand or reduce that if I wish. And if I select the hashtag work tag there, I'll get any reminder that's tagged with the hashtag work tag, no matter what list they're on. From here, I can complete them or if I need to, I can modify whatever detail of that specific task. So tags are just another way for you to categorize or group tasks or reminders that may be in different lists together, making them easier to find. The last feature related to structuring and organizing your tasks in this application that I want to review are called groups. So basically, if you have multiple lists that fall under a common category, you can group them together for a more streamlined view. For example, let's say I have here two lists, one called client A and client B, where I'll throw reminders and to-dos related to a specific client. However, both of these lists fall under my work kind of category, right? As they're both related to my work. I can group these together by clicking on these three dots at the top, going to edit list. And then here at the bottom, I'll get the option of creating a new group. I'm gonna name, name this group work. I can click here, include client A and client B. I'm gonna click create, and I'm gonna click on done. And there, now both of my lists are grouped under the work category or the work group in this case. If I create a new list, let's say this is client C, 
I'm gonna click on done. Now what I can do is just simply press and hold and kind of drag client C into the work group and it'll be thrown in there. If I go back to edit list, I can actually move them around. If I wanna keep them kind of in alphabetical order, A, B, and C, there you go. Next, let's take a look at some other features that are not particularly related to organizing your tasks, but are features that make the Reminders app a powerful to-do list. So let's start with subtasks. Subtasks are a great feature in the Reminders app that allows you to break down a larger task into smaller, more manageable parts. So for example, let's go here into my client A list. I see here that I have a task called quote for digital project. If I wanna add a subtask to this particular task, I can click on the I icon, and here at the bottom, I have a subtask section where I can start adding reminders to. So I can say here, email pricing department, create presentation, run it by sales, and finally email presentation client. Right, so all of these four tasks are related to the main task of coding for a digital project, right? And as I go and complete each of these tasks, I can start crossing them off. However, if I do complete the whole task from here, it'll automatically complete um, the subtasks related to that main task. If I wanna show completed, I can click on the three dots, click on show completed, get this back, and actually uncheck that as I do want them showing on my list as of, as of now. Next, let's talk about sections. And this feature actually helps you categorize your tasks within a particular list. So for example, I am here in the client A list and I see I already have a task. However, let's say that I'm gonna keep adding tasks to this list and it's gonna get kind of chaotic and I need another way to organize or visualize the information within this list. To add a section, I can click on the three dots here at the top. I'm gonna type or hit new section and I'm gonna name this section quoting process. Then here on the next section is gonna be negotiation. And let's say I need one more section, click on new section, and I'm gonna call this sign off, right? So now this kind of makes more sense. Now I have kind of a more structured and organized um, to-do list where I can add different tasks in their appropriate bucket making it easier for me to recognize kind of what category they fall into. Quoting task, I can actually drag and drop into the quoting section as it does belong there, makes more sense. And as you can see, it's just kind of easier to keep track of the tasks um, with these labels now. So uh, another functionality that goes kind of hand in hand with the sections functionality is the view as columns option that Apple now has made available and this kind of gives you a column view or a Kanban board view um, of your different sections with the corresponding tasks underneath. It's just a better way for you to visualize, especially if you're a project manager or you're used to this kind of Kanban um, board view of things, then this would make it a lot easier to keep tra track of your tasks. But for now, let's go back to the list view. So another feature that I wanna show you and that I found very neat is that, let's say that I'm in Safari, right? or this could be any other application where you have the ability to share even things like Netflix, right? Um, and I click the share button here down below. I can actually share these to the reminders app. And I can say which, I can select which list I wanna send this to. In this case, I'm gonna just leave it as default to my inbox. I'm gonna click add, and then I'm gonna go back to the reminders app. I'm gonna go to inbox, and I actually see here that a reminder has been added for the recipe that I was reading about online. So I see here, easy oven baked Mahi Mahi, and I even have the link that I can click on it in case I closed it by mistake, um, or I added that reminder a few days ago. So a very cool functionality for you to share to reminders and quickly create tasks related to other applications that you're on. So another cool thing that I wanna show you is that, let's say you have a repetitive structure or repetitive set of tasks that you wanna repeat for every new list that you create. Right, as you can see here, I'm creating a new list every time I get a new client, and most of these lists tend to follow the same structure and tasks. So I can actually go into one of the lists that has already the sections and tasks that I wanna save, and I can save it as a template. 
can give this template a name and save it. And now every time I create a list, I can go to the template section. I can actually select this template that I just saved. I'm going to name this list client D as it is a new client. As you can see, the list is created already with the sections and the tasks corresponding to the client template. Now, the last thing I need to do is just add this to the work um, group. I can actually edit the order so it remains alphabetical. Click done. And now I have a new list with the same structure as the other ones. So this is very neat, very useful, especially when, with projects. If you're already following a certain structure, you have created your uh, sections that you plan to use in multiple lists, then make sure to save, save it as a template so that you can reuse them uh, when you're creating new lists. Finally, the last thing that I do want to remind you about is that reminders does come with its own set of widgets. I think there's only like three different versions at the moment. Um, as you see here, this one I've thrown, I've thrown into my home screen where I can, you know, cross off tasks um, from my inbox list. You can obviously edit these widgets and change the, um, the list that you see in the widget. Um, but I just find it very useful as you don't have to go into the reminders app every time you can create for example, a list uh, for your tasks due today and have that as a widget. And that way you don't have to go to the app specifically to see your tasks. So there you have it, folks. That is the Apple Reminders app that it is becoming a very powerful tool that offers a wide range of features aimed at improving your productivity and task management uh, with the ability to tag, group, use subtasks, sections, templates, and this you know integration with other applications where you can share um, reminders from specific apps directly into the reminders app. Um, this can definitely and potentially replace third-party to-do list applications. Again, I did a, ver a video very similar to this one with the notes app and looks like Apple is including a lot of features in both of these applications that may have the ability again to replace other third-party apps that are available in the market especially for folks that are looking for something more simple. You know, they don't want to download a third party app um, and learn kind of something new. If they're already used to the Apple kind of UI and Apple ecosystem, then they might as well use the functionalities available within these stock applications. So thank you for watching this overview of the Apple Reminders app. Hopefully you'll find its features beneficial in organizing your tasks and increasing your productivity. And please let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.